the 3D text effect in DaVinci Resolve. Here is a clip on the timeline, which we will use in this example. But first, let's change timeline playback resolution to half or quarter for smoother playback. Select clip on the timeline and open Fusion page. Disconnect media in one node and drag image plane 3D, merge 3D, render 3D and camera 3D nodes. Now connect media in one to image plane green input, not the yellow but green, and the rest of the nodes as usual. Apply one more image plane 3D node and also text node. Connect text also to the green input of image plane 3D and image plane 3D to merge 3D node. Connect camera also to merge 3D node. Make sure you have two viewers enabled. And click on the left dot of image plane 3D so we can see in 3D our scene from the left side. Select camera 3D node, transform, change Z value so you can see the entire image. Now select text node and type your text, choose font, change size if needed. I'm gonna use Montserrat Extra Bold. Now open Layout window and choose Type to Circle. Here we can play around with such settings as Width, Size, etc. Now open Transform window and change Transform to Words. You can also adjust spacing to your liking. This offset parameters gives you an option to rotate your text, which is aligned to this circle. Ok, let's animate the offset so it rotates counterclockwise. Open Spline Editor and ease the keyframes. Now open Text window, right click and choose Follower. Go to Modifiers window, step on the first frame, open Transform tab and change Transform to Words. Set Offset value to minus 0.3. Set Keyframe, move to around 65th frame and change Offset all the way up. So we have a rotating text animated. Open Time and Tab and increase Delay value to 2.8. So now it looks more like rotating around the helix shape. Now let's animate Opacity. Open Shading tab, hover your playhead to the first frame, set Opacity to 0, step on the 40th frame and set Opacity to 1, and move to 80th frame and set Opacity to 0 again. Open Spline Editor, choose Opacity and ease keyframes. And I forgot to use offset keyframes. Now I'm going to add a blur animation. Open text tab of the follower 1, right click and add one more follower. You can animate blur in the first follower, but I like to have a separate controls when applying time and delay. So the text appears from blur and disappears to blur. Use keyframes. If you select the camera node, you can see its position on the left viewer. When you select text image plane 3D, you can also see text position and change it by dragging these arrows. So let's move it closer to the camera. And now I'm going to animate camera movement. Move playhead to frame 125, set keyframe on Z value, move playhead to the first frame, let me enable keyframes to X and Y values too. and change Z value to 0.38. I'm gonna move it a little to the left so we can better see her face. And now we have this camera zoom animation. Don't forget to use keyframes. Now let me open keyframes tab and make some adjustments. Just change the position of the keyframes a little so the text is more visible with the camera zoom animation applied. Let's add a drop shadow effect to our text. Select text one node, press shift space and type drop shadow. Adjust shadow settings to your liking. And I will quickly animate shadow distance so it starts away from the text and then coming closer. Cool, select drop shadow node and apply glow. Change glow size to around 42. And increase glow a little. Looking good. You can play around with follower 1 delay settings and get like more separate words effect if you want. Awesome. Now we can add a second text. Drag one more image plane 3D node. Grab a text node, connect it to green input of image plane 3D and image plane 3D to merge 3D node. Type your text. This time I will choose New York font. 
Select Glow and Drop Shadow node and copy it to the second text. Select Image Plane 3D node and place it closer to the camera so it appears almost in the end of the video. Open Text Window, right click and choose Follower. Open Modifiers, Transform tab and Animate Offset. So the text flies in from the bottom. Use keyframes with Spline Editor, open Time and Tab and set Delay to around 1.2. Open Text Window, right click and add one more follower. Open Follower number 4 and animate softness like in the first text but a little faster. I'm gonna ease softness keyframes like this, so it has this nice smooth blur. I will quickly adjust softness keyframes. Open shading tab and animate opacity, so the text appears in the beginning of animation and disappears in the end. I will ease these keyframes like so. Ok, let's go back to edit page to see the result. First I'm going to change playback resolution to full and change render cache to user, so it will quickly pre-render it to me. Second example. In this example I will copy everything that we made in the first example, select all nodes, excluding media out one node, open clips window and press on this next video. Paste it. Disconnect media in one node. Delete previous media in one node and connect new media node to the green input of image plane 3D. You can delete text number 1. So now we have only this nice text animation left. But we are going to duplicate this text 4 times. Let's rename it to text 1. Select all 4 nodes. Duplicate it. Connect image plane 3D to merge 3D node. Change text and font. Select Image Plane 3D node and place the text behind. This will be text number 2. Open Keyframe Editor, select all keyframes and shift it to the left so animation starts earlier. And repeat these steps to the rest of the three texts. Cool. Now I'm gonna add a little extra sauce by adding a Gaussian blur to media in one node. I will quickly animate it so the image starts with the blur and then gradually disappear. And I will add a circular mask. Click on the invert and animate width and height. Increase soft edge. and ease keyframes. So it has this nice dreamy look. And you can copy this blur node with the mask to the first clip and get the same dreamy look. That's it, thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video.